Hi everyone, Pong here from Robotics, bringing you today a new video to demonstrate custom human animation. In Visual Component, we have human resources that we can use to transport products or carry out a specific process. During the simulation, we can see that the human resource will have animation of movement when it is doing a task, such as picking a product, walking, using a tool, and working at a process. The movements we see are default in visual components, but we could prepare our own animation for the human resource. And that is what we will be learning in today's video. To do that, we will first need to go to the program tab as the human resource movements is configured as a robot program. This is because human resource utilize multiple links which represent different parts of the body structure. These links are controlled by a servo motor in visual components. Thus, we could create a different program for human resources to have various movements when carrying out different tasks. However, do take note that the animation of the human resource does not impact the simulation results. The movements only provide a better visualization to the simulation. Now, when we look at the human resource in the program tab, we will see there are many default programs ready-made by Visual Commons for specific actions. To create our own program for human resources, there are three methods we can use depending on the simulation requirement. The first method is providing a custom animation based on the product type that is transferred by the human resource. For this method, we will need to create a new program by copying one of the default programs we want and replace the prefix word with our product type name. For example, in this layout here, we have a feeder producing canned products. We will create a new program for picking the product. Let's create it now. The easiest way to copy the default program is by using the copy function here and then change its prefix word. Using the jog function, we can adjust the body structure of the human resource. After that, remember to update its current structure to the program by clicking on the touch up robot statement. Alright, that will be it for the first method. Let's run the simulation and see our human resource with custom animation during the picking process. This method could be used for all different product types. However, for transporting multiple products, the animation used will be based on the first product type selected. Moving on to the second method. This method depends on the tool used when transferring products or working on the process. If no tool is configured in the simulation, the human resource will use back the default animation. In this method, we just need to set the name of the program with the prefix of the tool name. Adjusting the animation of the human resource is the same as before. Now, let's quickly do a setup as an example for this method. We will use the pallet jack as our tool to demonstrate the method. As we can see in the simulation, the human resource will have the updated movements when walking with the pallet jack. For the last method, it is based on the process name of process node that we used in the simulation. This is mainly used when there is a work statement in the process node. 
the human resource can be configured with different animations during the work process with this method. However, when a tool is required for the work process, the animation will be switched to the program that is with the tool name prefix. In this method, we only can copy the work program and modify to our preferred movements for the animation. Here is an example which the human resource animation is customized. With these methods, we can create a suitable animation for the human resources when carrying out different tasks. Nevertheless, if the simulation is simpler, we could directly update the human resource movements from the default program. This will make the animation available throughout the simulation. That's all about creating custom human animation. Through customization, the simulation will be better in visualizing the process which human resources are involved in. Do take note that this does not affect the outcome of the simulation as the process is still depends on the timing given. Hope you enjoy the video and have fun creating your own human animation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Interested in visual components? Visit Raw Robotics website to know more and book a free demo session today.